Living the Change is a feature-length documentary which showcases inspiring stories of sustainable living from all around New Zealand. They're here to tell us about the film are co-director Antoinette Wilson and contribu contributor Waveney Worth. Welcome, guys. Thank Thanks. you. Really nice to have you both here. Antoinette, let's start with you. Uh, you and Jordan are self-taught filmmakers. So what made you decide to make this film? Um, we had both um, started started understanding the problems that we're, um, that we're facing around the world and we really wanted to find solutions um, that we could do as individuals and then take that, roll that out and, and show other people how they could also make changes in their lives. OK, let's take a look, shall we? Being sustainable is not just a nice thing to do. Being unsustainable isn't just a bit unfortunate. It is an existential threat to our species. We actually need to do something about it or we're gone. Yes, I think everybody should go and see this. I learned a lot, loved it, thought it was a brilliant documentary, so awesome. congratulations, Thank guys, you. awesome. And one of the stars, Waveney, you were in it, and you featured with your story on rubbish. Tell us what you did with your rubbish. Well, a few years ago, we decided to live without any rubbish. We challenged ourselves to try and have zero waste for a full 12 months. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> pretty crazy. Um, and we did that, and since then, we've been living pretty zero waste, give or take. Um, the standards have probably slackened off a bit. But, That's extraordinary, uh, yeah. because I, I know that I'm, I'm filling up wheelie bins per week, basically. Yes, it'll probably, probably take us about a year to fill up a wheelie bin. Wow. But then we don't have kids, so... You, wow. can, you can have that as Still, yeah. I don't know, I think that's still really... Yeah. I think that's really good. <laughs> <impressive. laughs> um, Antoinette, tell us a little bit about the way that you and Jordan live. Um, so we live really simply. We live in a 20 square metre um, room on a friend's property and that's um, that reducing everything in our lives has enabled us to make the film because we have far fewer costs. Um, but we also really strive to live um, with as little waste as possible. Um, actually, everybody that we've met in the film has inspired us to make little changes in our lives in accordance with what they were doing. So mm -hmm. Waveney and Matthew were a huge inspiration. Did you make the movie for the movement or did you make the movie to teach people about oh, the movement? Such a good question. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, partly we made it actually to teach ourselves. Okay. Cool. So we, we, we went out and found people who inspired us to make change. And I know that if I'm inspired by something, then other people are going to be inspired by it as well. Yeah, and, and I definitely was inspired. And uh, mm. as we heard Waveney with the rubbish, if somebody at home was trying to cut down on their rubbish and just get one rubbish bag a year, yeah. where would be a good place to start? I think. <laughs> Half of what's in your average rubbish bag is actually food and garden waste, half of it. And people, so a lot of people think, oh, that's okay because it just will, you know, naturally break down in the landfill, but it, it causes methane gas, which is a huge contributor to global warming. So I would start there. If you have no idea how to start composting, call your council. Well, depending on where you live in New Zealand, most councils would give, be able to give you some help with that. Um, another place to start would be if you're a family, if you're a parent and you've got... Um, kids and nappies uh, to look up Kate Mead, cloth nappy lady, uh, especially if you're concerned about saving money. Mm. Um, so there's actually all sorts of things out there. It's sort of getting online and... Steel mm. straws, glass, glass yep, coffee cups, yep, all that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, Antoinette, what are some steps do you have to suggest to others if they want to start living a bit more sustainably? Yeah, so I agree going online is... Really, there, there is so much information out there now. The most important, or one, probably one of the most important things that we can all be thinking about is um, the power that we have with our dollar. So mm. everything that we spend money on supports an industry um, or supports um, you know, a, a particular way of doing things. So if you are choosing to buy your food locally, to buy everything locally really, mm. um, to as much as possible support local industries, support people who are um, growing food in a way that regenerates land, um, which is possible, and a, a lot of people don't realise that. Sometimes you go to the market and say, is this spray free? And they say, oh no, this, I couldn't do this spray free. There's no reason to do anything with sprays and they are so toxic. Mm. So, you know, like, it's, it's the research, it's educating yourself, and there is, there is just so much information out there now. And a lot of information, a lot of that research is captured beautifully in a thank documentary you. that you guys have all been part of making, so thank you so much. Well, the world premiere for Living the Change is in Tauranga on Thursday as part of the Bay of Plenty Sustainable Backyards Month. Screenings in Auckland and Wellington will follow, and it's then going to be available online as well. You can check out their website for details.